What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're, today we're going to be taking a look at the player of the week, uh, cards, right? So we're just after our stream. If you missed out, we did check out a lot of players that are here, but we're going to be doing a dedicated player of the week review and breakdown right here, right now. Obviously, you can't train these players. You can't reset them. You can't do anything with them. You can't add skills. They are what they are. You don't need to train them up and waste XP or anything like that. You literally spin, you get the card, and that's it, right? You've got long-range player skill shooting Mbappe, Salah with true passing, and one-touch Besek, who has got the player skill one-touch pass, as I said there, right? You're allowed to spin for three of these, but you can get two free player of the weeks every week with the events. The AI events, you go in, you get 3,000 points. Playing against the AI, you can either sim the games, play the games, or do whatever you want to do with them. Uh, mix your boat and you get two free spins right now we're going to take a look at these and as i said i'll keep it short and sweet uh, listen lads these kind of player of the weeks now for me i'm going to hide my we webcam here right or my face cam these kind of player of the weeks for me at the moment are kind of a waste of time right um kudos is sitting down having a break here i don't know why he's at right but you've got a goalkeeper sorry where's the goalkeeper you've got a goalkeeper in here that only has uh, 87 awareness. He's tall, but he doesn't have... Oh, he does have long throw. Apologies. He has low punt and long throw. A lot of the kind of, like, allure of getting these guys, right, is because they're on A rated, right? You can see their rating is going to be on A there every week um, that the player of the weeks come out. Their rating is on A, right? But that goalkeeper, to me, is a bit of a bust because the goalkeepers that you can buy for GP, it's not worth spinning, right? You also have... Um, it looks like DePaul with his new hairstyle here. Um, he doesn't have the hairstyle on his player render. I know a lot of people ask me to show the faces, so I'm taking that on board. This is a very good card, right? You can't train him up, obviously, but he does have double touch, one touch pass, interception. Very, very good, solid hold player, attack and midfielder, man. Um, so a really, really nice one. Really nice card to have. Speed and stamina are quite nice for a hold player, but he doesn't hit any 90s with the boost. So he's not going to hit 90 with tight possession or low pass. He's also not going to hit 90 with stamina, acceleration, kick and power, speed. It's going to be just ball control that you hit 90 with. Defensively, he's quite decent. He's going to have 80 aggression. So he is a bit of a thumbs up for me, right? But we've got one bad, one good. And that's kind of the way the player of the weeks are going forward, right? Besek here as well, man, um, is going to be a good card. He's very, very nice center back, but very slow as a CB with 64 acceleration. So you need to play him as kind of like your Van Dyke-esque type player. Height, strength, very good defensive awareness, but he still doesn't go to 90 in any stat. So he's a bit of a bust, even though he's got one touch pass and blocker and interception, area superiority. He doesn't have acrobatic clearance. So he's a bit of a bust. Solanke then as well. He's had a couple of cards. You know what you're going to be getting with him. He's just a tall target man. Pretty okay. Double touch as well for a big man is quite nice. One touch pass, first time shot. Aerial superiority is pretty decent and heading. Um, 88 finishing and 83 kicking power is quite nice. But again, nothing to shout home about. Dumbia here as well is a fairly average card as a whole player, centre midfielder. These cards are literally for newcomers, lads, right? All of these. It doesn't matter. All of these are newcomer, newcomer type cards. Um, it, it, you're not going to put them in instead of a player that you've actually built up and built your squad around, right? So that kind of leaves us with the top four, right? Apart from Kudos here, we've had a better version of Kudos's card before. He's also got inconsistent form, um, but he is quite solid. He's quite decent. He's not the best uh, whole player that you're going to get, but he does have some nice player skills. It's a pity he doesn't have flip flap, and then you'll be able to do the ball roll because he's double touch and soul control, but he doesn't. Pellegrini, one of the silkiest Modric-esque type cars in the game unwavering form looks the part super sub low lofted true pass and one touch pass way to pass and no look pass a very unique card one of my favorite cards to use at the early part of eFootball 2022 he doesn't really cut the mustard now um and i'm not going to just say that he's a beastly card that's worth spinning you're not going to be looking for him if you do spin but he is definitely one of the best ballers in this pack and a nice card if you do get him in your pursuit of mbappe or salah so that does bring us to the top three guys here, right? Gabriel as a centre back, very strong. You're going to have aggression and defensive awareness, both at 90, tackling at 92 with the manager boost, defensive engagement at 88, which is quite decent. Speed at 75 is nice. Acceleration over 70, but doesn't hit 75. And physical contact 95, he's a beast. Heading at 90 as well with the boost. Pretty solid card, I would say, right? Doesn't have blocker though. Man marking interception area superiority, doesn't have acrobatic clearance, doesn't have blocker. Yeah, he's a good card. I mean, if you're an Arsenal fan, you definitely would want to spin for him if you don't have him. He is a solid card. There has been better versions of him before. Mbappe, one of the worst Mbappe cards I think that they've released, lads, genuinely. I, I definitely don't think he's worth spinning for. His standard card or the free card that you got way back when, if you have been playing this game for a while, it's way better than this, right? 
Biggest issue with this card is tie possession and balance, which is a stat that I'm going to do a specific video on that I think is the difference maker between strikers and attacking players going forward now with this gameplay build that we have at the moment. 92 finishing, it's fine. Speed and acceleration are really rapid quick, but tie possession and balance are really poor. He also doesn't have one touch pass and you can't give it to him. So that's a huge issue as well. Even though he's double touch, he has track back. It's, listen, Mbappe is a beast, right? But this is probably one of the worst Mbappe cars that they've ever released. Same with Salah. Salah has the same issues, right? He's got low pass 73. You're not too concerned about that. His finishing is 86. His speed and acceleration are quite high. His balance is quite high. But the dribbling is the high point for this guy. 81 type possession and 83 balance. You're not going to get those into the plus 85 mark. Same issue as Mbappe. He has one touch pass and double touch, but he doesn't have anything else really going for him unless you shoot a lot. And I think it's one of the weaker build cards of Salah. When you compare this Salah card to the Blitz Curler Salah, it's embarrassingly bad compared to the Blitz Curler Salah, right? But it is Salah. And if you are new to the game, this is where it's aimed at, right? So I would say that Mbappe and Salah are kind of busts. Gabriel is pretty decent. Pellegrini is pretty decent. And Paul is pretty decent. So there's three cards out of 11 there that I would say are decent. And even at that, I mean, there's better options on the GP market. So yeah, the player of the weeks, I think they need to have a look at them. I think they need to redo them and, you know, have a bit of a, a, a think about what they kind of like are trying to do with the player of the weeks. I would much rather, genuinely, I would much rather to have five player of the week cards. You get one spin, a free, and then the four are left up for you that you're able to spin the four and clear the pack but have very unique cards. Either, you know, a card that's going to be very unique with different play styles. Like, why not give Mbappe ball roll? Like, soul control, flip flap, and double touch. Same with Salah. So it's like, okay, his stats aren't amazing, but it's something in his locker that he has that's unique. Or maybe be able to have Salah play, like, attack in midfield. Like, at this card here, you can't play Salah anywhere but his normal position, CF or right winger. There's nothing unique about this card. So if you've got five or six versions of Salah before, this card is not going to change the dial for you one bit. So I do feel like they need to either rethink the player of the week and go the route of having unique cards. Because if when you look at the likes of this Blitz card or Salad that I have, and as I said, I'll keep this video as short as I can. When you look at this Blitz card or Salad that I have here, look at his stats compared to the free one. You're talking 90 type possession, 90 balance, 94 finishing, 91 curl, dribble at 94, speed and acceleration, 93 and 97 with kick and power 88 it's a phenomenally better card everything that you could possibly want in this card is there right so and he does have the blitz curler as well so yeah it's just something to think about but let me know your thoughts lads let me know what you guys think and we'll be back very 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 soon don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you in a bit